Were you surprised that he stood through that? Derek's always been a tough boy. Um, he comes to fight, that's why his name's Waters Aura. There was no way that he was going to stop himself. The referee had to pull him out where he's going to get knocked out. And I'm glad, that, I'm glad he went out like he did because he's a definite, uh, uh, he's a greater British boxing and he's been a pleasure to fight over the years. Look at the balls on the man, excuse me, French. A 38 year old, look at the effort he put up tonight. Oh. Through fine effort. Oh. Usyk came up to the ring, he got a little piece of him verbally. Then Joyce came up. Who do you want next? I want Alexander Usyk next. Or if that fight can't be made, I want Joe Joyce. Do you expect that fight to be made February, March, like the Usyk side has said? I've got to do some stuff. Um, I've got some uh, hand problems. I'm going to get some surgery on my elbow, but after that, I'm, I'm ready for anybody. Would you like it to be here in England, in the UK, or Saudi? <laughs> um, the mate. Who do you want next? Ring. You got a little piece of him verbally. Then Joyce came up. Who do you want next? I want Alexander Usyk next. Or if that fight can't be made, I want Joe Joyce. Do you expect that fight to be made February, March, like the Usyk side has said? I've got to do some stuff. Um, I've got some uh, hand problems. I'm going to maybe have some surgery on my elbow, but after that, I'm not ready for anybody. Would you like it to be here in England, in the UK, or Saudi? Do you have a... Um, listen, I'm very, very open and easy. Open and easy to wherever these fights are going to be fair. Or if that fight can't be made, I want Joe Joyce. Do you expect that fight to be made February, March, like the Usyk side has said? I've got to do some stuff. Um, I've got some uh, hand problems. And I got maybe have some surgery on my elbow, but after that, I'm, I'm ready for anybody. Oh my god. In fact, there's some more here. Peep this. Very, very open and easy. Open and easy to wherever these fights are going to be. Um, me and Sugar have worked hard and long for this fight. Um, we didn't underestimate Derek Chazor. We put it in. And, and we got the result tonight. And you know what? We're going to go back to the gym and on to the next one. Um, March, April, whenever it's going to be, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Tell me exactly what's wrong with the hand and what's with the elbow. Because this is all news for us. You look pretty healthy. Mm, yeah. yeah um, Right. I sort of like fucked my hands up tonight. Don't see oh, nothing, mate. Head, as a you don't see it, mate. And Sorry. I've got like some elbow problems that I got. Oh, maybe you have. Surgery on my right elbow. Both okay, the then, right. yeah. Hey. Oh, it's one of them ones. Oh, I've got a hand. Oh, big problem in my hand that you can't see. And oh, my elbow as well. Got a moody elbow. Get this guy out of here. I ain't trying to hear no more from this guy. Get this guy out of here, man. I'm trying to hear no more from this guy, man. Not, not trying to hear not even a little bit more from this guy. Yeah? The man says to him, listen, Fury. What you're saying about you sick in February? Oh, apples and pears, injury now. Oh, you know what it's like. Got a moody wrist. What the fuck? Where'd they find this guy at? Yeah? And I wouldn't mind, yeah, but this guy was desperate to get in the ring with Chizora, which is fine. Go ahead, get in there with Chizora. My whole thing is, though, if you know... Oh, well, I had my I had my left elbow... Um, on, I had my left elbow operated on in October... So wait a minute, you knew you had a problem with your bones. So, the, the, I mean, let's not forget as well, yeah, Tyson Fury was slagging off Usyk. Usyk said, I can't fight you in December, Fury. I've got a little niggles i got to deal with. And Fury slagged him off. At the time, I agreed. Scary ass dude. But my whole thing is, if you want to plough ahead, yeah, and go and fight Chizorva, then do that. But don't tell me you got injuries, but yet you're fighting Chizora. Because if I've got injuries, and I know there's a big fight, you say, wait there a minute, if I've got injuries, let me fix the injuries now and do what Usyk was doing. Imagine that, yeah? Imagine Usyk came out and, and fought Wilder, and then after the Wilder fight, says, oh, I've got some injuries I need to fix before I fight Fury. Everyone would say, why are you fighting Wilder? Why did you fight Wilder first? Fix your injuries... And then fight Fury. What? And it's not like, well, why be, you know, Chizora was a mandatory and Fury was going to lose his belt. No. No one wanted the Chizora fight. If there was ever a time Fury could have not took a fight, it was against Chizora. And yet he took the fight. Again, I'm all for taking the fight. I'm all for staying busy. If you're fully fit, which is what most of us said, yeah, you know what? It's good for Fury to stay in shape and to stay sharp. Why not? I mean, if you're fighting fit, why not have these kind of gimme whatever fights? How it makes no sense is if you're injured, you know there's a big Usyk fight coming. Why would you, number one, take the risk of making such injuries worse? Or getting more injuries? Make, that's the thing. He's lying. Because if you've got an injury, no one goes into a fight with an injury. Before, an, before another big fight. No one does that. No one does that. Who does that? Oh, I got a bug. My, my elbow's buggered, but I'm gonna go in there and bugger up some more. Even though I know there's a huge fight coming, who does that? No one does that. No one does that. 
Yeah, this fight wasn't mandated. No one cared about it. Fury could have said, listen, people, the AJ fight fell through. I've got dodgy elbow anyway, so it's all worked out perfectly. I'll fix my elbows, both of them. Wait a minute. Oh, my elbow went. I had my left elbow operated on in October. Someone explained to me, as far as I'm aware, if you've got an injury, you fix them all at once. You don't, oh, I'll fix my left in October and I'll come back in six months to do my right. No one does that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's all, it's all a bit, it's, I'm sorry, yeah, it's all a bit bogus to me. It smells bogus, 100%. So you knew you had a problem with your elbow in October, you sat on it, knowing there was a huge fight coming, to almost pull it out of the bag. Ooh, people have got a get out of jail free card here. What's that? A big Usyk file, oh, actually, you know, I got, that's what the man said, the man said, listen, Fury. U16's been saying February or March. Fury then says, well, I don't know about February or March. My elbow's gone. The man says, wait a minute, that's news to us because you, your elbow looked just fine <coughs> in there with Chisora. And i got to admit, it did look just fine. As much as Tyson Fury couldn't punch for Toffee, yeah, he looked clean in there, I'm going to be honest. This was one of Fury's most clean performances. That's the God's honest truth. He looked clean. Now again, he couldn't punch for Toffee, but his performance was clean. He put any shots together beautifully. He did not look like a man. Who had a dodgy elbow. Don't give me that one. Yeah, don't wash. Stop lying. There's nothing wrong with your elbow. Whatever. Uh, if my elbow is gone. It's going to take four to eight weeks. Well, wait a minute. You fight in December. No doubt you're going to bug around the whole of Christmas. So that means you ain't going to come out of surgery until eight weeks after December. So that's, that's, that's March already. You ain't even done a 12 week camp. Four to eight weeks, he said. Yeah? if he Even if he went in on December 4th, which he didn't, that'd still be February before he could start training. February, start training. 12 weeks, you're looking at May. And that's best case. Again, I don't think Fury's going in there before Christmas. I think Fury, no one, peep this year, guess what? To this day, now if you man have got evidence of otherwise, please send it through. But I haven't heard of Tyson Fury going into surgery, have you? I haven't seen any Instagram posts of Fury. Oh, out of surgery, elbows on the men now, eight weeks from now, whatever. I haven't seen that one. My bet will be Fury ain't... I don't even... Number one, I don't even think he's got an elbow injury. But if he does have one, he's going to say, OK, I'm in no rush. Let's get through Christmas. I've got ten, got a million kids. Get through Christmas. Come December... Come January 15th, I'll start looking at getting my elbow done. I'll get booked in for February 15th, rock out of surgery at the end of Feb, and then we'll start looking at the... I'm sorry, that's how it's going to go. That's how it's going to go, again. No, if I'm wrong, if you man have got evidence, oh, why be you wrong? Look, he posted here showing he's out of... He's got his elbow mended now. If that's the case, then there might be a chance the fight might happen this side of next Christmas. Yeah? But if it's not, and thinking about this... The fact Fury's... Why did Fury have that on the tip of his tongue? Yeah? The man said to him, Fury, February or March? The, on the tip of his tongue was, Whoa, 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 I don't know about that, mate. Got his dodgy elbow. Do you know what I'm saying? He couldn't even lie to us, which tells me it's almost like he's been holding that in the back, isn't it? Because again, I didn't hear him mentioning this before any other time. I didn't hear him mention... Again, before the Chisora fight, I didn't hear him saying, Got a dodgy elbow. Because it wouldn't make sense, would it? If you've got a dodgy elbow, why are you fighting Chisora for? Get it fixed and let's get this Usyk one on. It don't make no sense, does it? Number one, it's a lie. And even if it's a lie, it's still a lie because it don't make no sense. If you're truly injured, fix your injuries and don't fight Chisora. No one wanted that one. Don't tell me oh, I'm, I'm, I'm too in. Wait a minute. I'm too injured to fight Usyk. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm too injured to fight Usyk, but I'm not injured enough. Not to fight Chisora. Who does that? That tells me the guy's playing games. And I've been saying this for a while. These guys never have an excuse when it comes to fighting a bum. Yeah, if it's a gimme fight, you don't hear about no injuries. You don't hear about no delays. You don't hear about no pullouts. The minute it's a half decent fight. Oh, my elbow's buggered, mate. Oh, for, what's that? February, ah, oh, elbow's gone, mate. You want to know oh, oh, What's that? February, ah, oh, my kids. Christmas, mate. Come on, it's Christmas. No doubt there'll be Fury man fans in my comment section. Come on, YB, mate. He's got seven kids. Of course he's got a sick Christmas out. 
Get out of here. Corley sound announced. Too many cornballs. Yeah? Too way too much cornballs. <clears throat> Corny sound announced, dude. My elbow's gone. We've just seen you punch in Chizora's bonks for him. Yeah? My man was dribbling <clears throat> and mumbling. After the fight, your elbow just fine. Yeah? Elbow just fine. Stop lying. And the, it, it gets worse for me because it was the way he tried to slide in the hand thing as well. It wasn't, the elbow wasn't just enough. He started, oh the elbow, oh, he started off with his hand. And then when he realised there's nothing there and no one could see what he was talking about, he thought, oh, I best spin in the elbow as well. Oh yeah, my hands are, I messed my hand up on Chizora's head, did you? How would you, how would you know that? How would Tyson Fury know? <coughs> Bear in mind, he's a fighter, so in as much as you wouldn't know if you've broken it or if it's a bruise. Do you know what I'm saying? You've just punched someone's head for 10 rounds. It could just be bruising. So how does he know now? And it wasn't, again, okay, I'm not saying we know, like, if your finger's sticking out or if you've clearly broken a, bu a bro bone in your hand, then that's different. You can kind of, well, I'm probably not going to be able to fight use it because look at my hand. It's all, you know what I mean, all, per all, um, all inflated and whatever. It's clearly snapped. That wasn't the case. Fury didn't have a huge hand all, all buggered up. That weren't the His hand genuinely looked just fine. Yeah? So why is he saying I can't fight use it because of my hand that looks just fine? He hasn't been to the hospital already. He hasn't got a scan. So how is he so... How, how does he know so much about this hand injury that, that puts him out of the Usyk fight? The only way he would know that an elbow injury and a hand injury is going to delay the Usyk fight is if he's got it already planned out. Bottom line. He won't know how long his hand's going to put him out for. And a true man who wants to fight, yeah, wouldn't even mention the hand. A true man who wants to fight, yeah, would be optimistic, i.e., you know what, it's probably just bruising. Until they've been told otherwise, do you understand? If I'm desperate to fight someone, I'm not sitting there, oh, uh, actually my hands are gone, and oh, look, my hands got a bit of bruising. You don't do that. You say, you know what, it's, it's just a bruise, it will heal up in a week or so. I've got plenty of time between now and February, that's, eight, that's 12 weeks, my hand will be just fine. That's what someone who's desperate to get the squabbles on does. What they don't do is, fight someone that potentially making their injuries worse in a fight that no one wanted. And then, after that, immediately after the fight that no one wanted, start talking about all the reasons you can't do the real fight that people wanted. Yeah? If you had a poll and told people, okay, what, okay, Fury. Or, my name's Tyson Fury, I'm giving the fans a choice. I can either rest up, fix my injuries... And fight Usyk in February. Or. Fight Chizora. Make my injuries worse. And. Possibly not fight Usyk at all in 2023. Because my elbow and my hands buggered. What's everyone going to vote for? And Fury knows that. And that's what I mean. That's why I think it's dodgy. Because anyone. If, if you really want to fight Usyk. Yeah, you don't risk your alleged dodgy hand and dodgy elbow. Making it worse. For a bum fight no one wants. You don't do that. If you're desperate to fight Usyk. You, and that's why I give Usyk credit, because, yeah, we all, yeah, me and Tyson Fury slagged off Usyk. Oh, Usyk can't fight in December. He's got injuries. But really, Usyk's done what a man with real injuries does, who wants to fight. He doesn't go into a bum fight to make him worse and then use it as an excuse. No, he rests up and he plans for an ASAP fight. So now, nah, this don't work for me. You can't tell me you're having a Chizora fight to stay busy and stay sharp. At the same time have injuries. That's a no-no. You can't do that. Who does that? All the Fury Man fans out there. Explain to me. Who does that? If you've got injuries. You fix them. It's not like. Well why be? Fury's already beat you sick. Fury's already beat Joe Joyce. So. He's kind of just knocking around. There's nothing on the horizon. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? One of them ones. Oh yeah. He fought Chizor with injuries. But there's nothing else going on. Fair enough. Yeah. If Fury's wiped out the division. And there's not a lot going on. If he wants to fight with injuries. And mess around. Then fine. But he. It, me and him. Everyone else knew. The Usyk fight was immediately on the horizon. Why would you do anything that jeopardizes that? Yeah. Nah. That, that, that's played out. That's super duper played out. And I'm calling it now. Again, these weren't my comments. I didn't say this. The man said to him, Fury, to fight in February. The first words out of Fury's mouth was not, yeah, let's get it. 
The first words out of Fury's mouth were not, February, I want him, tonight, yeah? I'll cook him in January. February's too long. I want him badly. I can't stop thinking about him. 100%. I'm in love with him. 100%. Yeah? Got some weird homo bromance with him. 100%. I can't wait to blow his back out. Isn't it? That's what someone does. If you're thirsty for the squabbles, that's what you do. What you don't do is, the first thing is, it's, it's important to, it, it wasn't a case of, well, YB, he's been talking about Usyk for five minutes and the injury slipped out. No. The first thing off his lips whoo, was distancing himself. He was distancing himself from the immediacy of the fight. Whoa, what's that? You sick in fit? Oof, 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 oof. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Oh, 100%. Yeah, he was giving it the head, shoulders, knee. Oh, I got here. Yeah, all this one. All the different dance one. Head, shoulders, elbows, and all that bullshit. About how many injuries he's got. What's that about? Who does that? And it's scary because... A few days ago, I did a video, and in the article it said, Tyson Fury's got some injuries. I hadn't seen this bit. I, this has slipped past me, somehow, some way. But this is real bad, people. It's real bad. For anyone wanting this fight, at all. Number one, it's bad at all. But it's certainly real bad. You can forget about this fight in the first half of 2023. That's what this video tells me. If at all, to be honest. This vid, this, these quotes here from Fury have written off the chance of this fight happening in 2023. Sorry, in the first half of 2023. I don't see any other way. Fury himself has more or less said, forget about it in February. And I've already done the maths for you, man. Yeah? If we assume Fury's not going to get his thing looked at or get his thing fixed, it's, not, it's probably not even real. And that's, the, that's, what, that's a scary thing here. If it's not even real, then we're just playing in the wind again. But we've, I wouldn't mind, yeah, but we've been here before. We've been here before. Fury's renowned for this. He's renowned for waffling around the place for months on end. We had it with the AJ fight multiple times. And we've got it now again with Usyk. Yeah? He knew the Usyk fight was, in, was coming up quick. What, all the Fury man fans out there explained to me... Why did he take this needless, useless fight? Don't tell me about, oh, he wanted to do his mate a favour. So wait a minute. He jeopardises his undisputed run, his legacy run, to help his mate out. Get out of here. Yeah, get Fury's chong out of your chops. That's what you need to do. And most importantly, that's a, that whole argument don't even hold anyway. Because guess what? Fury could... Have took time off, got his injuries fixed, beat Usyk in February, and then fought Bum Chisora. So even it's almost like Fury's planned this. Oh, I'll take a I'll take a gimme fight with Chisora. Use that. Oh, I bust my hand on his head. Oh, it's one of them ones. And the way the way he had that all built in. Oh, I bust my hand on his head. Oh, because guess what? He couldn't come out. He fought in April last, so he couldn't say, "Oh, I bust my hand up and I can't fight Usyk in February," because he ain't fought no one. So I'll go in there with Chisora and use that as a platform. Oh, my elbow. I'll bust my hand on his head. I'll bust my elbow. Oh, big platform. Because again, why did Fury wait until October to get his elbow fixed? You fought Dilly and White in April. It's been six months. What have you been doing? Do you know what I'm saying? What's this guy been doing? It's all just super sus. I'm sorry. It's all super sus. This guy's been sitting around for nine months and he waits until... Now, to get things... Nah, that's, that's played out. I don't believe his injuries is jump on. And again, he said himself he got his left elbow fixed in October. So between October and December, what the fuck were you doing? Oh, well, YB, he couldn't get him fixed because he had the Chisora fight. Yeah, that's my point. Who doesn't say... I mean, let's not forget as well, yeah? How many fights has Fury pulled out of? Fury's renowned for pulling out of fights. A lot bigger than this one. Point? Well... Of all the times to pull out, why didn't Fury say, you know what, Chisora, I've got to pull out, mate. Elbow's buggered. Got to delay the fight, or better yet, cancel the fight, because I've got the Usyk thing coming up anyway. Mr. Pull out, all of a sudden, don't want to pull out to fix his injuries. Yeah, man, this is played out. This is whack. Super whack, but 
I feel bad for jo- the main thing here. I feel bad for Joe Joyce <laughs> because I I told Joe Joyce he ain't gonna be fighting for a belt until end of 2024. Yeah, people laughed. Oh, YP, you got great jokes. What do you mean great great jokes? We'll be lucky if Usyk and Fury fight by June 2023. Then they got a rematch. That's another six months. That's December 2023. Then you got Dubois. That's 2024, mid 2024. Then you got Hergovic. Oh my God, it's going to be 2026. Joe Joyce may get a shot by 2026. Might do if he plays his cards right. Yeah. But this is a bad look. And it gets me that the interviewer even said, Whoa, that's a news to us, Fury. What do you mean? And even after that, Fury is still all over it. Which tells me he's dead set. And this was planned. Fury had this on the tip of his tongue. He couldn't wait to jump this one out. Music versus Fury. February 2023. And I'm thinking about it now. I did a video. Team Music said. We want the fight by March 3rd. Why are they putting a deadline? Why are they putting a deadline? Why are they putting a deadline on it? We now know. Because no doubt Team Fury are saying, oh, apples and pears, let's do it in July. Do you know what I'm saying? That's, and I can't even blame Music. If this fight don't happen, it'll be nothing to do with Music. I don't care what no one says now. Yeah? Everything that's gone wrong will be with Fury. Based on this whole little shtick he's done. No one asked him to fight Chisora. No one asked him to... Listen, I ain't got a problem. Like I said, up until this point, I thought the Chisora fight made sense to some extent from Fury's point of view, i.e. ticking over. If you've been injured and you chose to go in there and delay things even more, delay the real fight, to take an easy fight, that's inexcusable. And if you're using that to delay the Usyk fight, Usyk's got his own thing going on. I'm going to wait around for you. Why should Usyk wait around for a man? The whole point of having time out is to get things fixed. It's not to fight bums. You fight bums when you're fresh. You don't fight bums instead of having surgeries and recovering ready for big fights. And that's the problem with these new age guys. These new age guys, yeah, they treat bum fights like the main meal. They do anything to make sure bum fights happen. And when it comes to the real fights, they're injured, they're delayed, there's pullouts, there's problems, there's splits, there's negotiations, there's all sorts of stuff going on. But a bum fight, <laughs> you best believe it. You best believe it. I've never seen a bum fight go wrong, never. Not once. I mean, look at Crawford and Avanesian. Yeah, that went. Have you ever seen a fight go so smoothly in that sense? Didn't it? No problems. It was announced with like six weeks notice and it went smoothly, didn't it? Crawford versus Avanesian went smooth. No problems. But the big fight, oh, Al Haim, innit? What was that about? Again, Fury versus Chisora. Did any of you, man, that fight went smoothly? Yeah? No problems. But Fury versus Usyk, oh, the El, oh, oh, the El, oh, you know what it's like, lad. You know what I mean? Oh, the hand's gone, oh, oh. One of them ones. I might be wrong. Fury comes out. You know what? I went in surgery on December 4th. And I'm ready to go in March. Fair play to the guy. But based on this. The fight happening in the first half of next year. Forget about it. It's ro- this is, forget about it. It's not happening. No way. July is probably the best bet. Or after July is the best bet now. Which makes sense because Fury don't fight every six. You know these guys aren't. These guys are not fighting more frequently than once every six months. I said that, and that was a key reason I was against a Chisora fight. I said don't fight Chisora because I know what Fury's like. If he fights Chisora in December, he ain't gonna want to get straight back on it in two months. And people told me, oh no, YB, it's great because he stays active and he'll be really fresh and really on it. And now we hear this. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and big shout out to the Christmas coins. Booster Weps 89 for coming through and whipsing up your man the YB's coins. Much needed. Saint Nick coins, 100%. No doubt. Father Christmas coins, Christmas coins, 100%. No doubt.